welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have been getting on really well with all of your swatches. Now, I have something slightly different today. We are going to be doing pockets. Now, the technique I'm showing you is one way of doing it. Now, there's of course so many different ways of doing the same technique. If you go to different knitters, it'll all show you maybe a slightly different way and you do what's the easiest for you. Now, today's technique, we will be doing partial knitting. So we'll be using partial knitting to create pockets and I'll show you the very basic of it, okay, to give you a good understanding of how you can integrate it within your garment. Now you can then go ahead and add a trim and do the seams and kind of finish it off yourself, okay? Now I love to knit so I've always got so much content to share with you guys and it's spread across different uh, channels. So I've got swatches on my website that you can buy, I've got swatches up here of course and I've got more advanced techniques again on Patreon so you pick what works best for you and make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. Right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with today's technique. Now, if you do have any questions, let me know and I will get them answered. Also, if you do have any recommendations, anything you're struggling with, anything you're unsure of, let me know and I could possibly look into this for you because I absolutely love to knit and I absolutely can't get enough of it. Right, okay, let's get started. So I've gone ahead and cast it on a selective... So I've gone ahead and cast it on a number of needles so you can pick whatever number you like. Now, the one thing you must remember, so I have knitted quite a few rows, okay? Now for pockets, you need to remember the pocket bag will fall on the back, okay? Now, depending on how deep the pocket is, you need to make sure that you knit quite a lot to accommodate or to account for the pocket bag to fall through. So if my pocket bag is like suppose this deep, I've still got a bit of knit underneath it, okay? If you only knit about that much and your pocket bag is a lot longer, it's obviously gonna fall below the swatch, which will not work for a garment. So just knit as many rows as you want or extra rows and then your pocket bag will be sort of like away from the edge of your knit, okay? So the first thing you need to do is move your holes and cams onto hold position. On my silver reed, I've got two cams, one on the left, one on the right. They go from two to one. So one knits one way and the other knits the other way. Okay, my tension is on five. I'm using a moisturized cotton yarn. If you've got any other make, just Google the information because it's easily available. So for brother, there should be a cam just on here, which will say N and H, just that would go to H position. Okay, so my carriage is on the right-hand side with partial knitting. You've got to remember the rules of opposites, okay? Carriages on the right, so everything on the left-hand side of my pocket will come onto hold position. Now, my pocket is going to be about two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve needles wide, or maybe fourteen, okay? So my pocket is going to start from this needle here, okay? So everything on the left-hand side of that needle will get on, get pushed onto hold position, and I knit across one. Now, everything on the right-hand side of those 14 needles, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, which is here, will get pushed onto hold position, okay? So remember, your carriages are now on the left, so your right-hand side can come onto hold. Okay, you've got to work in opposites. Go ahead and grab some extra weights. So I will be using these hanging weights with a rubber weight. They are my favorite, but you can also use claw weights. Go ahead and hang them where you're going to be knitting the pocket, which is this area for us, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the color to another yarn. You can, of course, knit in the same color. For this demo, just so you can actually see it a little bit better, I think. So I'm just using another color in the same yarn. And I'm going to go ahead and knit on here. Remember to keep moving your weights. So if I take my weights off, okay, you'll notice this baggy fabric here and that's starting to form your pocket bag, okay? So I'm going to knit a little bit more just so I can show the rest to you. OK, 
Okay, so once you're done with the pocket, you'll notice this baggy fabric here, and that's basically what your pocket bag is, okay? That's the back, obviously, of your knit, um, and you'll notice that it's open on the sides here. Now, the way I would seam that up is simply by using a linker. If you don't have access to a linker, because not a lot of people do, you can hand stitch it, or you can actually hook these two sides back on the machine, like so. So just hook it on the needles and cast it off. I personally prefer the linking or the hand stitching method, but I know a lot of people do like hooking things back on, casting it off, okay? So you can actually do that. Now my carriage is on the left-hand side. Now, in order to start knitting again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply push my needles on the right-hand side slightly over to the back where the stitches lay, just beyond the latch. I'm going to change my yarn back to the beige that I used or the neutral yarn. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to lay it over these needles so it picks it back up. And I'm going to knit across one row. And now I'm going to move my holding cams back to normal knit position and knit another. And you can just continue knitting from here on. So this is the front of your knit or the front of my swatch and you'll notice the green section is where the pocket bag is, okay? Now you can see these little holes here, but once you seam it up on the back, you should be able to avoid those holes. So that's what it would look like and then your pocket is in here. Now you can actually also go ahead and add a trim on here. You can crochet over to make it a bit more of a detail or you can simply just leave it as it is if you're happy with that. Now that's the back. That's your pocket bag here, like a little flap. That's what you can hook back on the machine to cast off or you can just stitch it up and that will basically seam up the edges and you can then use it as a functional pocket. Right, I hope that was helpful. I am going to do another video of a patch pocket just to show you another example, which I think would be helpful. But if you do have any questions, do leave them in the comments below or just DM me. Right, happy knitting. Bye.